All right, now we're going to cast off. So to bind off, um, cast off, we need to turn each live stitch into um, a not live stitch. If we just took them off the needle right now, the whole thing would unravel. So we need to secure all 12 stitches. So we're gonna start by knitting the first stitch. Now we knit the second stitch. Now here's the binding off part. When we have two stitches on the right needle, we take the first stitch and pull it over that second stitch, securing it. So now we have one stitch bound off. Now we knit the next stitch. So we knit one and then take the stitch before it and pull the second one through it. Two bound off. Knit one and then pass the previous stitch over. We keep doing this until the end. Knit one, pass the first one over. Knit one, pass the first one over. Really, this is like crocheting. Knit one, pass over. Knit one, pass over until you get to that final stitch. This is definitely a time not to be too tight. And if that happens and it slips off, you, with, with chunky yarn like this, you can just slip it back through. Knit one. And slip one through. I shouldn't say slip, that's a different technique altogether. So knit one and pass the first one over. When you get to that last stitch, you'll cut your yarn and then pull it through that last stitch all the way through to lock that last stitch. And that's it. You have a finished pot holder.